Haile was 45 minutes ago. I uh, got to use a robotic arm for the first time, and uh, I got to reach out and touch somebody for the first time in seven years. So we've developed technology where we can implant an array of electrodes, microelectrodes, in the cerebral cortex of monkeys. And we can record activity from many neurons in the brain simultaneously. And from that signal, we can extract the monkey's intention to move its arm. And now that we have that, we can have intercept that signal and use it, instead of moving the monkey's own arm, to use it to move a prosthetic arm. What we've been able to do recently is pass a lot of this knowledge that we've gained to clinical um, colleagues. They came to the laboratory, learned a lot of what we're doing, and then took it back to the clinic and developed the technology that's appropriate for humans. The computer doesn't know up, down, left, right. It just knows the signals that I'm thinking. For the first couple days, it was just, what's up, what's down? Uh, how I do it is I look at the ball, at the top and through my peripheral vision I see the ball that's moving so I'm, I'm focusing on the target while watching the moving ball with my peripheral. It's like a one-player video game. I'm trying to beat my own score. One thing I found out that if I focus too hard it doesn't work right. It has to be very natural. That's pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. You know I've been, I've been doing stuff I've been told um, that with the 3D curse control, people have been doing it for a year, two years, um, that they haven't got the type of control and percentages that I've gotten um, right. in a day, literally a day.